Dear Adam, my name is Mary Smith. I'm an economist, at least what we call an economist today. More precisely, I'm an associate professor in economics at the University of Bordeaux, and I'm a woman, a French woman. But don't worry, I'm not writing to tell you about my life. If I'm writing to you, it's because I have some very important questions concerning your thoughts, your book, your life, and you in general. I know this may seem scary after such a long sleep, but you should know, Adam, that today we still talk about you a lot. I haven't heard that some people in Switzerland, members of the Mont Pelerin Society, wear an Adam Smith tie in your honor. I believe that they are all considered more or less Nobel Prize winners. Oh yes, you should know, Adam, there is now a Nobel Prize in economics. There are even Adam Smith busts, silk scarves, pins and cufflinks for sale. I even saw an advert, the slogan of which was a bike made in Smith. Adam, today the world is Smith. I'm not sure it's mission. I wonder if you would agree with all that has been written and said about you this last 222 years. Because much has been said. You have caused much ink to flow. By the way, do you realize, Adam, that you are the founding father of liberalism? Do you know, Adam, that you are the father of political economy, the father of modern economics, the father of homo economicus? Do you know that you are a father? Do you know that your invisible hand has crossed centuries and continents, giving rise to many interpretations? Do you know that there is an Adam Smith Institute, an Adam Smith problem, and an Adam Smith dead end? You know, Adam, I would like you to wake up now and take the floor to tell us honestly what you think of this, all this frenzy and fatalism. You would be very surprised, Adam, by the force and the power of economic discourse today. I warn you, it has nothing to do with morals or philosophy anymore, nor with love, or even with human beings. But there you have it. You are famous now. Your thinking lives on. It travels, deforms, contracts, is transformed. The eternity of thought, Adam. Warm regards, Mary. <laughs>